Good day, good day, Spartan Willie here, and today we're going to be going through how to install the F1 Manager 2022 mod by Eddie Mark Wick onto your Motorsport Manager game. So this is the third mod that I've done a tutorial for. So I did 2020 and 2021. If you want to install those ones, go back and have a look. They will also be in the description below. So if you want to play those mods for whatever reason, um, I do have tutorials on them as well, but the process is mostly the same. But we're going to run through it here. I've had a couple of requests to make an updated tutorial. So first of all, all props goes out to Eddie Mark Week for making this mod. I did not help out in any way in the making of the mod. I just make the tutorials for them so big shout out to him for that one and also a lot of work goes into these tutorials so if you could please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to see more motorsport manager content we do lots of content on motorsport manager so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested but i won't waste any more of your time let's get into it all right so like other steam mods we start off with just hitting this subscribe button here so just do that now that's about half the mod installed, so if you want to play it properly within the game, you're going to have to do this next part, hence why well, tutorial. If it was this simple, I don't think we needed a tutorial, but anywho, let's get into the more complex part of the installation. Okay, so you're going to want to wait till your Steam installs the F1 2022 mod onto your game. It might take 10-15 minutes, that's about the time it took for me. Then you're going to want to right click on your game in your library and go properties. And then click on local files on the left and then just hit browse and then it will open up the directory for motorsport manager so then you just want to go on common so go back one then go to steam apps then once you're on steam apps go to workshop and go content and then the id we're looking for here is 415200 that is the id for motorsport manager so as you can see there, then we want to find the ID for the actual mod itself, which is 27381610096, which is this one here. And as you can see, we're inside the mod directory. So once we are in our directory, we want to click on extras, which is here. And as you can see here, these are all the extra files we're going to need to fully install the mod. Now there is a written guide. If you ever get lost at some point in this video tutorial, you can open up that within the extras folder and read through that but i'm going to go through each aspect here but if you prepare a written guide that is there all right so next up we're going to go to back up the game this is optional um if you ever want to revert back to the base game for whatever reason just right click on your motorsport manager you can kind of uninstall it and reinstall it that's what i've done just to get a clean copy of motorsport manager but you don't really need to do that just go local files and hit this verify integrity of game files that will reset the game back to its base files or replace any modified files and replace it with the original fresh ones. But just in case you want to make a backup, just to be sure, just hit this browse button in local files like we did earlier and then go mm underscore data and then go managed to start and then we've got to copy out this assembly C sharp. There is a list on the side of the screen now on all the files are going to replace. So you're going to want to back up. So basically just click on it, right click and go copy and paste somewhere into your computer and keep it for later. And then you want to go out of manage, so back to mm underscore data. And then you're going to want to go down here to shared assets and you've got to get shared asset 3, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20, 24, 26, 30, 34, 36 and 76. So just work your way down the list and just copy out the actual don't worry about the RES ones, just copy out the asset file. Um, so like, yeah, three. And you're also going to need the resources asset up here as well, just above the shared assets. So as you can see there, we've highlighted all the required ones all the way down to 76 here. And then it's going to, want to hit copy and then paste it somewhere else on your PC with the assembly C sharp file. And if you want to revert to this backup, just copy it back out of that file and paste it back in here and the assembly file back in managed. All right, so we're finally going to get to the actual installation of the mod. So just in case you skip the backup process, you want to right click on your Motorsport Manager Go Properties, Local Files and just hit Browse again. This will open up a second Windows Explorer. Make sure we keep the other one open with the extras from the mod directory. And then we're going to click on mm underscore data. And then as you can see here, we've got a bunch of files. Now what we're going to want to do is switch back to the mod. So as you can see here, back into our mod file. And now we're going to highlight all these, so resources and all our shared assets. Highlight them and then just click copy. And then switch back to your mm underscore data and just right click and go paste. And it'll ask you if you want to replace, you want to hit replace the files. And then this will overwrite the game files with the mod files. 
and mod your game essentially. Now that's done, so we're going to want to go back to our mod file and you see this assembly C sharp, we don't want to highlight that one in the last process, highlight that one, copy that and then back in mm underscore data we're going to go on managed and you can see it's in here, mate this is essential that this goes into manage. So just hit paste and it should only have one file it's replacing, replace it and then bang that's installed all right so you've successfully installed the mod so it's ready to go now but there are some recommendations for this mod to work to its full potential i highly recommend you install at least the enhanced graphics mod but the extended camera is another awesome mod you can zoom right in on the cars and it's actually on the workshop page and in the file the written guide on how to install this mod so i do have a video on each of these mods and how to install i'll put them in the description below but they're also on the channel again highly recommend you install those mods as well they are they are obviously compatible with the f1 2022 mod in fact they're actually incorporated within the mod because the cars just won't look as good without them all right so i just wanted to quickly load into motorsport manager to prove that the mod worked and i was greeted with this loading screen which is a pretty good indication how awesome is this picture of the way uh, as you see the f1 manager 2022 looking very very sleek um, and yeah the picture is just i didn't know this picture existed but uh, awesome picture there all right so when you're making a career i just thought i'd put this in just tick that make sure it's active and i recommend long uh, race session links because that is what the mod's designed for and then just hit continue all right so as you can see here the car models are in the game and everything these cars look awesome look at that front wing spectacular rear wing and they look so futuristic i'm actually really excited for the season but uh, as you can see all the car liveries that have been released in the game um looking very slick i can only imagine how long this takes to make in a, i think it was unity that's used it would take yonks but i'm sure as liveries get released they'll be added into the mod but yeah, it looks amazing, just the car model itself. But yeah, that's how to install this mod. Um, there's also a modding guide and modding features within the mod. So I highly recommend you check out the written guides regarding the mods. Uh, if you want to look to change anything, there's also variants, which I may make a video on how to install the variants. Let me know if you want to see that. But that being said, I hope you, this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We will have an F1 2022 manager mod save on the channel. I believe I want to start that tomorrow. So subscribe if you want to check that out. But that being said, leave a like, consider subscribing, join the Discord, and I'll see you next time.